Let's have a look at this hand to start with. <clears throat> and here we've opened one spade, and I hope you can all see that screen. There was a two club over call from West and North, my partner double. Now that double is what's called a negative double. It shows some points and it shows the two unbid suits, hearts and diamonds here. Um, however, I'm not really interested in bidding uh, diamonds. I think I'll rebid my strong spade suit. And with six cards, and I think I've got 14 points. I think this hand qualifies for a three spade bid rather than a two spade bid because of the nice shape there. And my partner ends up in four spades and the opponent starts off by leading a diamond, the king of diamonds there. <clears throat> so let's stop to make a plan on this hand and we can do this a variety of ways. We can, you can sort of look at your potential losers, which you've got quite a few of in the south hand. And you can also look at how many tricks you hope to make. So I'm hoping to make six spades here and four hearts with a bit of luck and one diamond. So if I can make all those tricks, that will be 11 tricks there. And I'm basically planning to discard a number of my losers on those hearts. Now the heart situation is a little bit tricky because there's a blockage there. You've got the ace as a singleton there and although you can cash that you'll then need to find some way to get to dummy. And this hand is relatively straightforward because all you need to do is remember that really your only way to get to dummy is with the ace of spades. So what we're going to do is when we get, gain the lead, we're going to think about drawing trumps and try and make sure that we, when we get to dummy, we're in a position to run our hearts. So that's what we'll do on this hand. Let's win the first trick with the ace. Now that ace of hearts, you may as well get rid of it now because it's a, a nuisance, so you don't forget about it perhaps. Play the ace of hearts. And now all we want to do is get to dummy um, to draw trumps and then cash our hearts. And the way you need to think about this is you've got nine trumps, six in the south hand and three in the north. And therefore, you expect that that will take two or three rounds to draw that. And if that works, you'll be able to end in dummy and cash your heart. So that's what we'll do. We'll start off by playing our king. Once everyone follows to that, we're in good shape now because we can now cash the second round with the queen. We're keeping the ace in case we need to get there. And when we play the second round, east discard, so there's one trump left, but we can easily draw it with the ace. And now we cash our three hearts. So we can discard clubs, if you like, on that, and one <clears throat> diamond as well. At the end, uh, we're probably going to lose two diamonds. We we may as well play out our some of our trumps. Maybe they'll discard. But at the end, we'll lead a diamond. The opponents will probably be able to cash two diamonds and we'll make our 11 tricks. There. So this was a relatively straightforward one. And all it needed was for you to think, realize that you only had one entry to dummy, which was the ace of spades. Does anyone have any comments or questions on that one? have to unmute yourselves if you wish to ask something. Let's have a look at another one. And here we've gone one no trump, sorry, two no trump, three no trump. And the opponents lead the queen of clubs. And let's have a little think. We'll start by maybe counting our top trick. So I think we've got one spade, two hearts, one diamond, and two clubs. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six top tricks. Clearly our best chance for more is in diamonds. And I've got the uh, poll for you on this one, which is what are you going to play from dummy at this trick? Okay, they've, they've led the queen of clubs and you've got a choice of playing the ace, 
or the seven from dummy. So what do you think De Clare should play from dummy here? Okay, let's uh, end the poll and I'll share the results with you. And the majority have gone for the seven, 71% and 29% went for the ace. So uh, I agree with the uh, the people here. Sorry, that's uh, the wrong one. It's this one. Um, I agree with the people who have played low from dummy. What you have to be aware of on this hand is that clearly to make your contract, you're going to try and make some diamonds here. And you need to try to keep your entries to the north hand. So your natural temptation might be to play the ace so that maybe you can finesse in diamonds. The problem is you can only finesse once. In other words, you can lead a low diamond, play your queen. Even if that succeeds, you can't really, it's very hard for you to get back to dummy to repeat the finesse. So much more important there, I agree with two thirds of you who said you should play low here, give up on the diamond finesse and instead try and keep the ace of clubs as an entry. So what you might do, is win the first trick with the king and then you aim to set up the diamonds and you will start off with the ace of diamonds and then you'll play the queen of diamonds and actually at this point if we bring up the four hands you can see west uh, has the king of diamonds and you might feel that it's right to play it but actually you don't have to play it um, in fact, if I click on the GIB button, the computer will tell me that if I play the king, declare can make an over trick. Yes, because then the diamonds will be set up with the ace of clubs as an entry. So if you're west sitting there, you don't have to take your king. You could play low here and make life harder for declarer. And that does indeed make life hard for declarer because now if you were to cross over to dummy with the ace of clubs and then play diamonds they would win the lead, win that and be able to cash a uh, dime or be able to cash their club so is there any other way you can get to dummy here is there any other way other than the ace of clubs of getting to dummy the spade. Spade. Yeah, spade. spade yeah you have the queen spade. jack there and that should provide an entry to dummy so because we can, we've got two honours, we're going to lead a low card towards the honours. West now is sort of in a pickle because whatever happens here, um, Declare is going to get an entry to dummy. And West probably does best to um, take their king now and then knock out that uh, ace of clubs. Okay. And now Declare um, still is in dummy but hasn't set up the diamonds and really has to abandon the diamond suit because if you were to play diamonds the opponents would get in and be able to cash their club so probably best not to carry on in diamonds you've made two tricks um, but maybe you can make the spades now without losing a trick you play the queen and the jack which win a trick each uh, and now you can come back to your hand with a heart, uh, cash your spade, and take your ace of hearts. And that will be your nine tricks. Whatever happens now, whether you play a heart or a club, the opponents will get in and be able to take the last tricks. But you'll just make your nine tricks there. So this was a difficult hand to, to make, especially if the opponents... Um, don't take the king of diamonds, uh, but you did the best you could by keeping the ace of clubs, realizing you had needed to have an entry there. And when the ace of clubs was, was no good anymore, you still had an entry with your queen, jack, spades there. Let's try another one. Okay, and let's have a look at this one, where you open two no trump, 
and your partner raised you to three no trump, and the opponents lead the six of spades. And we can see that we've got how many top tricks? We've got one spade, two hearts, three diamonds, that's six tricks. And obviously, to make more tricks, we want to set up the clubs. The problem on this hand is that there are very few entries to the north hand. That's often the case if the bidding has gone something like two no trump, three no trump. And so it may be very hard uh, to get there. But let's see what we can do. Now, when they play the six of spades, let's suppose you play low from dummy and east plays the four. And suppose you decide to win this one with the 10. You may, may think that's a bit of a bargain, but it turns out that it's not a bargain at all. Let's see what happens now. You're going to play the clubs now, and obviously you'd be hoping that they take their ace right away. But if they don't take their ace, if you leave the suit again, okay, they can now uh, take their ace. And suppose they, let's bring up the four hands at this point. Suppose West, having taken ace of clubs, leads back a diamond. You can win that. But can you see that you are probably never going to get to dummy now? Because if you play a low spade, West will naturally take their king. Okay. And you, you have no way to get to dummy now. Whatever they play back, Declara can win that one. They can cash their top tricks, but their clubs are sitting there in dummy and there's no way over there. So whatever happens, the best declarer can do is to take uh, eight tricks there and they, they were unable to take their, their clubs there. So what went wrong on that hand? Well, it was a play at trick one that was wrong. Again, sorry, just wait for that to come up. If I play this hand again, you can see West has made the normal lead of their fourth highest spade. And you can play uh, low from dummy. But the way to guarantee an entry to the north hand is not to win with the 10, but to win with the ace. And if you do that, now you have an entry to the north hand. So it may seem like a waste taking a trick with the ace instead of the 10. But it isn't really, because you're only ever going to win two tricks in this suit. Um, but you play the ace so that now you have an entry to dummy. You'll go. Now you're going to play the clubs. At some point, they'll take their ace. Whatever they lead back now, you can now play a spade again. And West can take one trick, but now you have an entry with your queen there. So whatever they play back here, you can finally get to dummy with your queen and you'll be able to cash your three clubs there. So that way, playing that way, I think you can make 11 tricks on this hand. Um, and it was all about thinking ahead, not winning the first trick with the 10, but deliberately playing the ace so that you can force an entry to dummy there. Uh, uh, yes, Tony, it's Fiona here. Yep. Um, if East held up, one more round oh, in clubs yes yeah that will be fine so in other words if they um uh if i change the play now so that east plays low you'll just carry on okay yeah, yeah. thank you you'll, you'll, you'll carry on. Uh, and whatever they play yeah, now any other questions or comments so number of hands today are all about thinking ahead and about thinking where you mean where you need to keep your entries um where you where you <coughs> where you have few entries to come you need to think about them and um here's another one where it's gone two no trump three no trump and west leads uh, a heart the ten of hearts and you see dummy come down with that exceptional diamond suit um we can talk about the bidding afterwards but You've got seven diamonds in dummy and three in your own hand. So as long as they divide normally, two and one, 
it looks like you should be able to make all those diamonds. So let's suppose we win that one with the ace and we cash the ace of diamonds. Everyone follows. So that's great news because now there's just one diamond out and it's the queen. And the contract is easy to make now, but <coughs> you have to be aware that the diamond suit could get blocked. And of course, what you have to play, once you see this problem, once you see this, you have to realize you must play the nine from your hand. Um, if you make the mistake of playing the five, you'll go down by one trick. If you play the nine, you can make two over tricks. Because if you play the five to the king, then the nine wins the trick and you block the suit. Once you've seen the problem, it's easy. You just play the nine here, and then you're able to run all those diamonds. Okay, so we'll run all those diamonds and take our spades and one club at the end. We'll probably lose the last two tricks, but we'll make 11 tricks there. The, um, the bidding was kind of interesting on this one. After two no trump, North has got a difficult um, choice as to what to bid there. Uh, you might not agree with three no trump, but, but what else are you going to bid? Um, three diamonds, if you're playing transfers, would be a transfer to hearts. So you'd have to end up in four diamonds or five diamonds. Five diamonds does actually make on this hand, um, but three no trump will score better if you can make 11 tricks. So um, three no trump may well do better than five diamonds here. Any comments or questions on that one? And um, let's um, look at this one, which was the one I sent out in uh, email as the, the week's quiz, where there's been a, a two spades opener, a week two, north bids three diamonds and south bids three no trump. And on the face of it, it looks like you have lots of tricks here. Uh, if you can, you can make all those diamonds, six diamonds and five clubs. But the suit contains a, the club suit has got this blockage in it. And let's suppose we win this first trick. Um, we now have a bit of a problem because, however, you, if you just play a minor suit, suppose you play uh, clubs now. You can get to dummy and cash your diamonds, but you won't be able to get back to your hand to cash your clubs. And similarly, if you play your diamonds now, you'll be able to take your diamonds and your ace of clubs, but you won't be able to take the rest of the club. So this cat is one of those sort of classic problems here. How can you make this? And what you have to do is play your ace of spades and and play off the uh, the and play off the uh, ace of clubs. Throw away the ace of clubs. It's called a jettison play, and it's a very spectacular example oh. of uh, unblocking there. Okay. So this is a way to make your thirteen tricks. Throw away the ace of clubs. It may seem like a, a waste, but it isn't really. You've still got five clubs to take. And it's a way of unblocking. So now you've done that, you can now take your club tricks and then cross to uh, take all the remaining diamond tricks. And you can claim once all the diamonds have gone and you make uh, 13 tricks. And it's a special kind of unblocking play called a jettison play. I'm sure some of you have seen that kind of thing before. But uh, it's a sort of most spectacular kind of unblock. Anyone have any comments or questions about any of those? We'll um, we'll end the talk there, except for uh, asking if anyone who needs a partner to stay on the call and uh, unmute yourselves.